Mushrooms are cool, but mushroom dropping spores are cooler. Just look at it. In Blender, bring in the mushroom from the mushroom tutorial. If you haven't watched it yet, click the link here. Okay, we're going to line up the camera. This doesn't matter too much now, as we can change things later. Press shift and right click on the stem of the mushroom. Bring in an empty. This will act as our focus object for the depth of field. Lower the f-stop to get some nice depth of field, and we're good to go. Add a plane. Rotate it on Y by 180 degrees. Add an ecosphere. Before you do anything, change the subdivisions to 1. Shade it smooth, move it off to the side. We're going to scale it down and apply the scale. To check the scale of your object, press N and check the scale panel. Everything should be at 1. If it's not, you need to apply your scale. Add a displacement and give it a bounce texture. Play with the strength, give it global coordinates so that when the ecosphere moves, it has a random size and shape. Select all of the particles that make a collection. Give one of them a material, make it black, bring up the specular and drop the roughness. You can also give it some sheen and clear coat, but this doesn't matter too much just now. Select all the particles, leaving the one with the material as active. Press Ctrl L to link objects and select materials. They shall all now share the same material. Give your plane some subdivisions and apply it. In edit mode, scale it down to fit inside the mushroom cap. In object mode, grab it and move it up so it's just inside the mushroom. I'm not working to scale in this scene. Particles seem to work better at a larger scale. Give the mushroom some collision. Then give the plane a particle system. You want it to be in emission, increase the end frames and lifetime to match your timeline. Then go down to viewport display and lower the size of the halos. Increase the amount of particles and drop down source to give it random distribution. Under field weights, we're going to remove the gravity. Then in the viewport, press shift A and you want to bring in a turbulence force field. Now you can see this is giving the particles some variance. Also, when we move the turbulence, you can see that it actually changes the noise used by this force field. Bring in a wind force field. Now we're starting to get some interesting effects. Set the strength of the wind to 12 and the flow to 6. Add in another turbulence modifier. Now we're starting to get some really interesting effects. Duplicate the wind and move it down so that the spores are flowing downwards. Give this one a strength of 2. Now select the turbulence modifiers and give them a keyframe on location and rotation. We're now going to open up the graph editor. If you select everything in the graph editor viewport and press normalize, you can then go to the modifiers tab on the right hand side. If this isn't there, press N. You now want to select one of the axes. Go to add modifier and add noise. You can see that it now animates the turbulence based upon the noise parameters. Play with them until you're happy. Be sure to give a random offset to each modifier. This is starting to look good. Now that I'm happy, we're going to go to the particle settings, go to render, change it to collection. And then under the collection, we're going to select the particles we made earlier. We're going to play with the size and give it random scale. And we're going to change the amount to around 100,000. This is completely dependent on the power of your PC. Less is fine. In rendered mode, I notice the material of the particles is way too strong. So I'm going to change the settings on the principal BSDF until things are working the way they should. I also wasn't happy with my camera, so I doubled the focal length and played with the depth of field to find something that I liked more. When you're happy with your particle system, go to the particle settings, go to cache, and hit bake. Now wait for the particle system to bake. After playing with the lighting and other settings, this is my result. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for the next video. Also feel free to subscribe to my Patreon, there's a lot of content coming out there as well as my YouTube channel. Have a nice one, and take care.